for today, what we're going to be looking at markup. Markup is when you raise the price up, right? So, for example, question number one, we have the cost of a computer group. And I'm going to raise the price up. I'm going to raise it by 90%. So I want to know how much is it after the raise. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to multiply two numbers. First number is 19.95 which is the original price of the computer game and then I'm going to multiply this by how much percent I'm going to pay uh, we always start with the 100% 100% means you're going to pay the whole cost the original cost 19.95 so you pay that 100% plus 90% more so that's, that's a markup so 100% originally and 90% more combined is 190% so the other number I'm going to multiply, let me write 190 because it's a percent. But percent, when we write it as, des as a decimal, we write it with two decimal places. So I'm going to multiply 19.95 with 1.90. So I get a calculator for that, and I get 19.95 times 1.90, rounded to two decimal places, because every time we deal with money, it's two decimal places. I'm going to get $37 with 91 cents. And the way I say it, round it up, is look at the third number, the third decimal number. If it's five or more, add an extra penny. If it's not, then don't. Originally, I had 37.905. So because the third number was five or more, I added an extra penny, which made it 37.91. Right? If it's four or less, don't add penny. Just leave it as it is. So once again, multiply the original price times how much it will cost. 100% plus 90% will give me 190%. So looking at question number two, the original price of the puppy is 329.50. In this case. I'm adding 20%, so 100, which was originally, plus 20% more is 120. So let me write 120, and then percentage is two decimal places. So I'm going to get 329.50 times 1.20, and I get 395.40. So $395.40. Once again, for whenever we're done with money, make sure you have two decimal places. If there's only one, like in my case, my calculator only gave me one decimal place, add an extra zero there. You need two decimal places when you deal with money. So like this is the thing that stores always do. We know that when we go to the store and we buy an item, that we pay a dollar for it. The store did not pay a dollar for it. Like they pay something that, but they have to make a profit. And then they raise, some of them raise their prices by percentages. So this is how, this is what they do. <coughs> Any question? Which one? Three? Looking at question number three, I'm going to multiply 2.30, which is the original price of the goldfish. I'm going to multiply this by... 171%. Do notice that my percent I write it with two decimal places. So 2.30 times 1.71, I get 3.93. Once again, round it to two decimal places, 3.93. That's an idea. Always check that your answer is bigger than the original price because you mark the price up right so the price should go up you finish with something less than um there's something wrong All right any other question seven right, let's take a look at number seven i'm going to multiply four thousand which is the cost of a motorcycle and I'm going to multiply this by 1.80, which is 180%. So 4,000 
times 1.80 gives me 7,200. I don't have decimals on this one. When it comes to money, it's fine if you don't have decimals. Because we can always talk about it's just a whole dollar without any cents. So in this case, I'm talking about $7,200, no cents. But if you're going to have decimals, make sure that it's two decimal places. All right. Any other questions? Let me take all the... Thank you.